Alright, welcome back to another video. We are back, and today I'm going to be doing a video on thumbnails, and more specifically, we're going to be doing thumbnails in Pixlr. So the thumbnail I'm going to be making is the one you guys see for this video. It's actually a little weird for me because I haven't even made the thumbnail yet, but I'm still making the video, and usually I make the thumbnail first, but I thought it'd be interesting to make it along with you guys just to show you the process and how it would look actually on the video. Now, before I start the video, I do want you guys to know that you don't have to download any software or anything. This is just a free website. Um, Pixlr doesn't require any downloads of the flash player, so don't worry about that at all And then if you guys haven't already go ahead and hit that subscription button It really helps out the channel and then also my socials will pop up down below So if you guys want to see any of the designs that I've done before or just my profile in general My Twitter and Instagram will pop up down below So go ahead and follow those if you guys want to stay updated with all the things that I do and let's jump right into the video I already went on Google and found the PNGs and the backgrounds that I needed uh, I'll show you guys a quick few before I actually get into the video. I'll show you the ones that I chose. Uh, I just googled Fortnite new tilted background, chose one of these. I believe I chose this one. And then I wanted to use the new dinosaur skin, so I believe I got a PNG of the dinosaur thing from here. And then I also got the PNG for this Bronto skin, which is very easy to find on Google. Just search the skin and then also search PNG behind it. So I saved both of those. Uh, you guys can find them right away. I would highly suggest finding all your images and stuff and kind of planning it out before you actually do it. It'll help a lot with the process in general. But once you are in Pixlr, go ahead and hit open Pixlr editor. Um, sometimes it'll ask you to play flash, hit continue with Pixlr anyway, allow, and then you're into Pixlr. And now you're going to want to hit create a new image instead of open image from computer. So create a new image and name, you're just going to name it whatever you guys want. I'm going to name my thumbnail. And then for presets, you're going to click here and you're going to go down to movie 720p. And then you're going to click transparent and click OK. So this is the size of your thumbnail. You can zoom in and out. So then when you're first in it, this is going to be your transparent thumbnail. What I usually do is click out of the history box and make the layers tab bigger just because I like to have more control of my layers and stuff like that. So the next step for you guys is going to be to hit layer and open image as layer. And then once you get into there, you can pick your background right here. Um, what I'm actually going to do, and you guys can follow this step by step, is I'm going to hit free transform and i'm going to fit it a little bit smaller holding shift while i do this and i'm going to hit enter and then i'm going to right click on this layer hit layer styles i'm going to put outer glow and adjust the size and hardness of it so it kind of fills the outside and then i can just choose whatever color i want for that um probably just going to roll with white and you can kind of free transform and move it however you like it I think I'm just gonna roll with this there really is so much you can do with this website guys I would highly recommend if you guys are getting into thumbnails or graphics that you guys use this website it really is crazy so one thing you guys can do to your background that's actually pretty cool is a gradient pattern so you're just gonna choose this gradient right here and I haven't quite figured out entirely how this works but I usually just choose a kind of color that fits with the theme um, I'm probably just gonna choose this one right here or actually gonna choose this one um, I'm going to go ahead and click off of it and you can kind of choose, you usually just drag and then it kind of adds it to your thing if that makes sense. Um, you can kind of mess with it however you want. Uh, you can go ahead and edit undo every time you don't really like it, but it just adds a little bit of an overlay to it, which I kind of like in general. Um, but that's how you do that. So now I'm going to add the PNGs that I saved earlier to the picture. So I want to hit layer, open image as layer, and this is kind of what I have here. I'm going to start with the Bronto dude. Okay, so now that I got the dude in here, I'm going to hit edit, free transform, and I'm just going to kind of put him wherever I want, really. I'm probably going to zoom in a bunch and kind of have his gun coming out a little bit. Um, kind of whatever you guys like. Um, it really just is up to you where you want to put them it's not really a big deal you guys can follow me step by step if you really want to but i would kind of encourage you guys to just do whatever you want and kind of do a bunch of things and just kind of create your own thing if that makes any sense but i'm gonna have this dude right here and i'm going to probably just shift him a little bit and i'm gonna right click on him hit layer styles and i'm gonna hit outer glow i'm just gonna choose white for simple purposes and I'm going to edit the size. Probably change the size to four. Um, we'll probably have the hardness at eight or nine. And I actually might just 
make him a little bit kind of closer, if that makes sense. Like just a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a few filters to the background. Uh, you guys can mess with these however you like and add your own. It really is up to you. Um, what I'm gonna do is the one I usually use is halftone, I believe, yes. And with this, you can kind of just mess around however you like, and it kind of adds a cool texture to it, if that makes sense. Um, and go down here, kind of change the point size. You can always make it bigger or smaller. Um, however you guys like it, I'll probably just add something like really slight to it. There we go. And then now I want to add a little bit of text to it. So I'm going to go to the type tool. And if you guys do want to see a video on it, I have the Fortnite um, font actually downloaded. And if you guys want to see a video on how to download that and get that on the software, go ahead and let me know. I would gladly do it. It would be a pretty short video as well. Um, but the one I have that is most like it is, I believe, this one right here. And then I'm just going to put... Um, made with pixlr okay so i got the text and now i kind of just want to edit the size a little bit so i'm just going to get this out of the way right here and i'm just going to drag that and hit okay like that boom up there and then with this i might want to add a few things to this um i probably want to have a drop shadow just because it'll look good and you can edit the distance so it doesn't look too weird I'm um, gonna change the color to it so I could have a blue one or a white one or anything like that uh, I'm just gonna stick with black personally. So I made a few minor changes to the title I added an exclamation point I made it a little bit bigger and I honestly think this is a good simple but kind of creative um, Thumbnail that you guys can use um, if you guys want to follow this and do this kind of exactly how I do it I really don't care if you guys want me to do more videos on pixlr just like this Make sure you hit that subscribe button guys It really helps out the channel and helps me motivate myself to make better content for you guys and one last thing, if you guys want to be notified every time I go live, make sure you hit the notification bell. Um, it'll give you guys an alert every time I go live. I just started live streaming on YouTube and it's been super fun uh, making graphics for people and just doing stuff on live stream and interacting with you guys. So go ahead and do that if you want to be notified when I go live on YouTube. And I think I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace.